you know, we can all point out all the things that went wrong on that last drive with, you know, Jalen Rager's two drop touchdown passes, um, Jalen Hurts being a little sporadic here and there, and whether you want to believe or not that Devontae Smith had a shot at at least getting the first down instead of throwing it to Rager on that fourth down. And look, I'm no hater on on, on Jalen Hurts. I was a supporter turned hater of Carson Wentz. And look where that's gotten us as a, as a fan base right now. He's he's been playing real well for the Colts right now, and they're they're still up there in the thick of it with uh with their with their wild card race. As are we, but we look worse because we are worse. Um, but there are a lot of things that went wrong in this game. We understand this. Greg Ward dropped a touchdown. Nate Herbig uh, held a player that called a touchdown run back. But listen, we can talk about how Rager dropped those two touchdown passes back to back all we want it happened yes of course and if those don't happen we don't talk we're not talking as much as we are about what happened in that fourth quarter on that final drive or not but even if we do score that touchdown and win I would still be boasting and being mad about not one not two but three interceptions that Jalen Hurts threw one of them was I mean it was into double coverage when you're backed up, you don't make that decision. That's a bad decision right there. And to Rager as well. But then the two in the red zone, everyone just kind of wanna wants to gloss over this because Jalen Rager dropped the pass in the end zone or whatever. Like, guys, Hurts threw one interception in the first quarter on the second drive of the game when we could have had at least three points. At least three points. Jalen Hurts threw an interception on third, what was it, third and goal? Third and goal with like 10, eight seconds left. He scrambled, wasted time, threw an interception instead of throwing the ball away with a few seconds left to put up points on the board. That's six, at least six right there off the board. And then, of course, at the end of the game, whether you want to believe it or not, he had a chance to at least lead Devontae Smith to the sideline to get a first down to give us four more shots at punching it in with run plays or pass plays from within the 10, within the 20, within the 15. <laughs> But we want to keep focusing so much on Rager. We get it. Rager dropped that pass. We all are in agreement. We don't want him to be playing as much as he is because he's not giving us anything. And he's dropping big time passes like Nelson Aguilar did in 2018 and 2015 and 2016 and 2019. We get it. We know. We agree. We're all in agreement there. But we cannot gloss over the fact that uh, Jalen Hurts put us in horrible positions and even with the game on the line, didn't make the right decisions before those two passes to Rager. And whether you want to believe that those were the right call uh, ways to throw it or not, Devontae Smith was asking for the football Nick Sir uh, right to Nick Sirianni, and Nick Sirianni didn't want to commit to it. So again, yes, Hurts made some mistakes, Rager made big mistakes, but between coaching and all that bullshit that we've been boasting about for the entire season and Jalen Hurts and his inability to be a consistent quarterback with decision making and everything. We, we cannot let this all go just because Rager dropped a touchdown pass. Be realistic here, okay? Be realistic.